Recently, I received an email from what appears to be a dead or fake address. The message itself was blank except for an attached file, super.jar. Now, at the time I had about nothing to lose, so I went ahead and opened it. What follows is a description of what I experienced. The jar started fairly quickly, as I was greeted with a title screen similar to that of Super Mario Bros. for the NES. Except it was all empty. No other sprites aside from the bushes, even the coin counter appeared to be missing. The title was replaced with Super, and the only option was Game. I chose that option, obviously. The game began in a castle level, with a long, seemingly endless bridge. I ran across for a good 40-something seconds, before Mario reached a random, sudden death. The level restarts, and I managed to squeeze in 50 seconds of running time before another instant death, now having one life left. 10, 20, 30 seconds across the bridge and then it crashed. Everything came to a screeching halt, as the window froze up, ending the game. Honestly, I was as disappointed as I was creeped out by the whole situation but I was also curious. I fired up the file a second time, making my way back onto the bridge and actually making it to the edge clocking in at around 60 seconds. I wasn't able to stop at the edge but instead fell off into the darkness below. A new level begins, this time with some actual platforming. This new level consisted of mushroom platforms that appeared to be chained up straight in a floor made entirely of lava. It seemed pretty normal at first, until I realized that Mario could barely move, his jump height only half of what it should be. That was irritating. In the final platform was a brick box holding a beanstalk. It was a challenge in itself to actually reach the stock with Mario's decreased mobility, of course. Climbing up the vine only restarted the level. So, long story short, I repeated this process as controlling Mario became tougher and tougher with each restarting, until I physically couldn't jump up to hit the box. I fought, and jumped down into the lava. The game closed soon after, with a newly created blank text file in my desktop, simply titled thank you.txt. The story isn't incredibly creepy, as it's something that actually happened recently that I felt I needed to share. I still don't know who sent the file to me, or what the thank you really meant, but I'm hoping to figure those out eventually.